You know, all these raspberries kind of got me thinking. Welcome back to the stovetop. As some of you may know, I grow raspberries in my garden. However, I've never had raspberry flavored coffee until now. In this video, I'll be trying out for the first time Leland All Coffee Roasting Company Chocolate Raspberry Coffee. Now, something different about this bag of coffee from previous Leland All Coffee videos is the size. This is their half pound size, which I've never shown before. And I think it's a really good option to have for customers if they want to try out a, a coffee that they've never had before, but maybe they don't want to get a full size bag in case they don't like it. Or maybe they want to buy a variety of coffees to try out and, and do it for a lower cost. Another thing is if you're going to send coffee to somebody as a gift and they may not like it, you may not want to send them a full one pound bag or because it's smaller and lighter, it saves on postage. As a comparison, here's a one pound bag of the Dutch Bavarian chocolate. So you can see the size difference right there. Now, something else about the bag is that the design changed slightly. They went with a generic bag and a decal on the bag instead of a bag that's printed all the way around. This is the bag of Dutch Bavarian chocolate from the review video I did earlier this year. And you see they just went with a, a, a plain bag and they just put decals on it with more or less the same information. They've still got the, the date, the Best Buy date and all that on there. But it's just a slight change because this design on this bag or this the bag where it's printed all the way around they've had that for years all right enough about that let's get on to the chocolate raspberry coffee and of course the refrigerator compressor kicked on like it does when i'm trying to make videos but this lapel mic should help with that so it's got the metal clip here at the top for resealing it i'm just going to go ahead and Cut it with some scissors. I ordered this in whole bean. And I didn't cut it low enough with the scissors. All right, let's make a second cut. There we go. And you can see the beans are kind of a medium to dark color. Or they look a little bit oily, yeah. They smell a little bit fruity. I don't know if I would... Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of a raspberry smell. So I'll go ahead and grind these up, and I'll be brewing them in Mr. Coffee. I'll be using reverse osmosis purified drinking water, and I'm not going to rinse the filter. I'll be back with the first cup. I was upstairs in the studio working on something for one of my other YouTube channels and I could smell the coffee brewing. And as some of you may know, I have a poor sense of smell. There's kind of a fruity smell to it. I don't know if I'd call it a raspberry smell, but I, I could definitely smell it. Something else I decided to do for this video is I finally decided to buy one of their coffee mugs. This is just a ceramic coffee mug. It's kind of cream colored. On one side it has their logo, and on the other side, it says, waking up the sleeping bear since 1993. The sleeping bear refers to the sleeping bear sand dunes on the west side of the state. Now, something about this mug that I kind of don't like is it's really pricey for being made in China. I've purchased coffee mugs from other companies that were in this price range. And when I got them on the bottom, it was stamped made in the USA. There are companies out there making coffee mugs here. So I think that for this price, they could have sourced it from an American company or even raise it a dollar or two and, and sourced it from an American company. I'd like to see that. They're not going to watch this video, but it's just something to take into consideration. If you're placing an order and you're like, hey, I'll get this really pricey coffee mug. It's not made in America, guys. But it makes a good prop for a video. So let me go ahead and pour the first cup. Kind of a medium brown color. Now I filled the basket about halfway, maybe a little bit more. When I ground the beans, it was a nice level to the top of the grinder. They had a, a nice brown color to them and they weren't 
they weren't powdery or anything else like that. A problem I've had with some beans that I, I've tried out for the first time. So this might might be the normal strength that it needs to be, or I might need to add a few more grounds maybe next time I, I brew it. I won't know until I try it out. But as far as the smell goes, right away that tells me that I've put enough beans in there. Putting it up to my nose. I'd say that's more of a raspberry smell, but it's 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 not very strong and it's a little bit artificial. It's a little bit hot for me to be trying out, but it kind of leaves that taste on on my tongue afterward. In the middle of my tongue, it was kind of uh, tart, kind of like their their blueberry coffee, which I really like. When when I ordered this, I, I got more of the Dutch Bavarian chocolate and I got another pound of their blueberry coffee. I'll include a link to that video at the end of this video. So let me let this cool off, have a little bit more, have a few cups. I'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. So I've had a few cups and I'd have to say that I consider this a medium roast. It's smooth. I think that the fruity taste is there. I got it on the first sip. It's it stayed on my tongue, but it's not as tart as their blueberry. So if you like the blueberry, but you thought it was maybe just a little bit too strong, this might be a good alternative. Now I haven't tried it after letting it cool off. I've intentionally left it here on the stove and been stalling. So let's see how it tastes after it has cooled off. That's lukewarm and it's not bitter at all. So it, it pretty much stays smooth throughout, although I'd prefer to have it warm. So I didn't even talk about the chocolate taste in this chocolate raspberry coffee. This kind of reminds me of their chocolate cherry festival coffee. When I reviewed that, I had a hard time smelling and tasting the chocolate. And I'm kind of getting that with this. I'm not calling it bad coffee at all. It's smooth. I like it. I would order it again. But where's the chocolate? Now, individual results may vary. If you try this out for yourself, you might detect the chocolate in it. So if you'd like to, I'll include a link to Leland All Coffee Roasting Company in the description section below. And if you'd like to watch some of my other reviews of their coffees, I'll include a link to the coffee reviews playlist right here at the end screen in the video. Thanks for watching.